this is the last class, you guys. Hey, Abraham. Abraham's here too. Yay. Good morning. Uh, Meg. Meg and Maureen. Yay. Yay. We got everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people. Yeah. Everybody's here. That signed up. Cool. So this is the last class, you guys. Um, but again, um, you can go to OPC, like we have all the sessions before we charge that the you know for a charged class we have all those free sessions that are on our um website no not website sorry on the youtube channel so you can go to the youtube channel for opc you can look up this class it was called something different i'm i think it was like stretch and balance and body balance something or something like that yeah yeah it was called so it had a couple different names um but um you can search for those too. So there's a whole summer's worth and fall, I believe, worth of classes online. And then I know it's not the same. You can also sign up for um, Monday. And if you're not already, and um, you can just do, you know, a chair version or I'm constantly ca calling out that. So um, I do a lot of this kind of stuff in my Monday class as well, but then we do a lot of strength training and honestly, strength training is really important and of course we do that in this one too but definitely more in the monday class so um let's get started today we need a chair today we need dumbbells and that's it pretty easy two things yes all right okay let's start with our cardio get our cardio on shoulders back and down draw the belly button in open up the chest and let's march it out come on come on come on come on it's gonna be a gorgeous day i took my plants outside meg i hope that's what i was supposed to do because i already did it so i hope i didn't make a mistake <laughs> draw the belly button in open up the chest squeeze that booty oh so i came up with a different name i can't remember if it was this class oh it it was it was on monday so i think you all heard my glutey name <laughs> that i've been telling everybody about and everybody doesn't have the same reaction that i have i'm like guess what i made up glutey isn't that a funny name and they're like no it's not lisa not at all. You're a weirdo. I'm just trying to buy my groceries. <laughs> no, I would not like do that. I wouldn't talk about gluties with some random person at the grocery store. <laughs> I would want to. <laughs> all right, press through those heels, bring it forward. I always see people walking like weird or, and I'm like, ah, use your core lady. Come on. But I don't. I don't say it. I say it in my head. I don't say it to them because that would be weird. <laughs> Come on, give me four more. So pull back the toes. Yes. Think about it. You got to think about pulling back those toes. You're going to feel that calf stretching out. Like, don't just go through the motions. You got to feel it because there's a reason I'm doing all these. You're bending your knee and you're pulling those toes back. All right. Give me three more. So this knee is bent. This is straight, right? Yeah. And you're swapping the one that comes out last one. And then, um, you know where we're going, press through the heel, press through the heel, press through the heel. So what am I doing? I'm stretching as I'm getting that cardio. I'm stretching. This is why my um, beginning workout is pretty much the same every day because um, honestly, it's the best stretches. It's the best combination, in my opinion, of stretches and straight, um, you know, warming up. I don't like when people just do random things just to get through that beginning cardio or beginning uh, warm up. It's all for a purpose. And sometimes I change it if we're really going to like work on a certain area, I'll change it up a little bit. But generally, Okay, two more. Last one. Okay, let's go side to side. Side, boom, side. 
Now, what am I doing? I'm pushing through the sides of my feet, yes? So push through the sides of the feet. Push through the sides of the feet, yeah. Bend those knees, bend those knees, and push, push. Think about the hip, what the hip is doing. Bend those knees, push, push to the side of the feet. So you're going not on your toes. If I've trained you about anything, it's not to come forward onto those toes, it's to come back onto those heels. Huge difference because why? You're going all the way up to the glute instead of going all the way up to the knee. Try it. If you go to that, the toes, feel how that goes right to your knee. Um, yep, see, I proved it. Two more. Let's go. Push to the heel. Push to the heel. One more. Push to the heel. Push through the heel. Okay, let's give it a kick. Let's give it a kick. So here we go. Natural foot. Oh, maybe you've got like a soft bend to your knee. Oh, I definitely feel tightness and I'm dying already. It's like 9,000 degrees in this house. Keep going. Holy guacamole. I should wear shorts. <sighs> Are you guys warm in your house? Ooh. It's nice though, it's a nice feeling. I love this time of year. No air conditioning and no heat. It's perfect, I wish it could stay just like this. All right, give me four more. Four, I hate air conditioning. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Three, two, and one, kick it back. Let's go back, let's go back. Raise those arms, thumbs are up. Raise those arms, natural foot. Natural foot, we're just gonna kick it back. Squeeze the butt. So this is what I'm talking about with those glutes. You don't wanna arch the back. T pull that tummy in and then squeeze that glute. So every time I kick, I squeeze this glute, I squeeze this glute. Practice, you know, just like whenever you feel like it, practice and you'll get that glute activation. If you don't feel it, you don't have glute activation. So that's not good. You want that glute activation. One more. Okay, kick it out. Oh, no, sorry, knees and knees. So bring those knees up. Bring those knees up, just straight up in front. Doesn't matter how high you go, just those knees are coming up. You know, stretching out definitely the glute. So if you have some tightness in your psoas, um, you're stretching that out, yeah? getting it moving. A lot of things is just muscle sliding over muscle. And when you move, it kind of gets, you can get like some stickiness from the muscle to the muscle and moving and massage too um, will kind of unstick those muscles for lack of a better term and kind of get that fluid um, moving and those muscles are able to slide a little bit better, if that makes sense. Two more, and then we're gonna add a kick. So knee kick, knee kick, push through the heel, push through the heel. I want those, I want the calf stretch too, along with the hamstring, hamstring. Um, so you're, you're pulling back with those toes, pull back with those toes, pull back with those toes, yeah. So you can hold on to a chair, you can do this in a chair. You don't have to be up. Um, you can hold on to the counter or the wall or not the dog, not the cat. Definitely not. Give me three more. Three. Woo. Two. Woo. And one. Yeah. So back to side to side. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> side to side. Side to side. This time, um, straight leg. Straight leg. Straight leg. That's what it is. I'm like... What am I doing wrong here? So you want a straighter leg, you want a straighter body. You're not hinging. You're, you got a soft knee, but not a bent knee, yes? It's more like a jack, yeah. So open up the chest. You'll feel this in your back a little bit more. You're gonna feel this in your hip, but more towards like the back. So like the side obliques, um, and then like the bottom of the lats, if that makes sense. Okay, two more. Actually, I think I gypped you, but that's okay. And one more. Now we're going to kick. So opposite. Boom. Opposite. 
opposite. There we go. So, hey, maybe I'm holding onto a chair right here and I'm kicking. Does that make sense? Or you can do this seated for sure. Just be gentle. And it wouldn't be a, um, you know, completely out. You'd go to the edge of the chair and then you just kick small. Be a small kick, almost like a knee lift out. Like you're opening up the hips and that's super important. Your abductors, your adductors. Okay, give me three more. Three, go your range. Hips are forward. Two, and one. Wow, look what you guys are doing comparatively to when we first started. Pat yourselves on the back of the head. Why did I do that? I meant back. <laughs> Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, and you're going to cross the midline only if it feels okay. So this can bother you sometimes, crossing the midline. I'm not saying that you don't want to cross the midline unless your doctor specifically says don't cross the midline. But honestly, um, you most people still with surgeries, they can still get it back a little bit. Um, you know, I have seen some people where the hardware just says no, but I feel like the newer hardware is a lot better than when I first started like six years ago. Six years is not a long time, but when it comes to surgeries and hardware, it really is. All right, two more. One more. Nicely done. Okay, let's go up and bring it wide. There we go. So I'm just bringing it wide. I don't have to touch my ankle. I can be here, you know, or sorry, here. Like it doesn't matter. I can hold on and not even reach. It's all about the hips, basically. I don't want you to bend over because that would defeat the, the purpose. I want you to be open here. Yes. So now you feel that stretch. If you feel some pinching right in here, hmm, you need to work on that. You need to stretch in the psoas and the piriformis and those groin muscles um, need to be stretched. All right, last one because um, that just gets worse. All right, draw the belly button in, contract those abs. I don't know why I'm all off today. Um, bring it back. That's what I needed. Transverse movement. I'm doing this all out of order. Like, I'm all wonky today. Well, most days. Most days we're wonky. I know I am. <laughs> You're pivoting, yes? Pivot on that heel. Pivot on that heel. Pivot on that heel. Bring those toes up. This is hard to get, but I feel like most people get it by now. Um, if you're in the chair, what are you doing? You're just bringing that foot back and bringing it forward. There you go. Boom. Bring it out and in. 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 Come on, three more. Three and in. Pivoting. I'm pivoting. I'm picking up those toes every time. People are like, Lisa, my shoes are sticking to the floor. Well, I know sometimes it's hard, but you'll get it. I know it seems impossible, but it's actually not. When you pick up those toes, um, you're able to slide. Boom. And one more. Nice. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, and bring it down and down. So the knee comes down, the heel comes up. I'm just doing an internal rotation. Internal rotation, internal rotation, internal rotation, internal rotation. There you go. So this is the deal. I want to open up that chest. I want to bring that knee down. I want to squeeze that glute. Yeah. Oh, my ducks are here. They just landed in my pool. Yay. The mama and the boyfriend. Unless, I don't know. I don't know if they're married. I don't judge. <laughs> Draw the belly button in. Open up the chest. And squeeze the booty. Squeeze the booty. Squeeze the booty. Last one. Squeeze the booty. Squeeze the booty. March it out. 
There you go. March, 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 march it out. Press through the heels. Let's go, let's go. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, remember, um, if you're interested, the 5K, there, we're going to have a virtual 5K at OPC. It's virtual, or you can come, I think it's, hmm, I should know this. I think it's, it's in June. It's like the first week of June, but I can't remember what date it is. Sorry, I should know. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, check it out if you're interested. You can do virtual or you can do, so it's kind of nice because you can map out your area in your um, neighborhood and you can do sections. So maybe like, you know, you could loop um, your uh like streets around and do like maybe three loops is a 5k and then you can rest in between each loop right you could do 10 loops if you want you know and rest in between each loop so it's a good cause and um it's good for you know training from now until then would be great and then you get bragging rights and a really cool t-shirt yes so it's a win-win. All right, let's, uh, no, let's um, heal. Let's heal. Let's heal. Open up that chest. Remember, you can do this all in a chair. Heal, toes back. See how this is going to help with walking? So if you go walking later on today, stretch those ankles and stretch those calves at a minimum. Hamstrings and back is a bonus. You should do those too. But the ankles and the calves do not walk until or do not garden until you stretch those ankles, calves, and hopefully the hamstrings and back. Two more. One more. Now bring it back. Let's get bigger arms. Bring it back. Press through those heels. Did I kick back? I hope I did. No, I didn't. I forgot to kick it back. Oh, boy. I was like, this has to be the best class ever because it's the last one. And I already messed up the warm up. <laughs> Maybe do singles. You know, it's up to you. I just want you to continue to do this on Wednesday without me. All right. Give me three more. Two more. One more. Bring it out. Side to side. Remember, this is the bendy one. So bend, push through the sides of the heel. Push through the sides of the heel. See, we got everything. We got pulling back, you know, when we were going forward. We got back, and now we got the sides, yeah? So everything. We did everything. Woo. Okay, push through. Push through. Push through the sides of that ankle. You might hear some popping. Or you might feel some popping. That's okay, as long as it's not associated with pain, right? The popping is just fluid and air pop. Well, not air, but it's just like, it's, yeah, it's kind of air. It's like pushing the fluid around. That's what I was talking about earlier with the muscles and the fluid. Last one, so it's a good thing is what I'm trying to say. Ah, Nice. Okay, let's go. I know I'm getting going in different order, but we're going to kick it out. Kick it out because this is the order I was supposed to go in. Kick it out. Point those toes. Point those toes. Kick it out. Point the toe. Point the toe. Point the toe. Hey, you can do this all in a chair, right? You can hold on to a chair, right? Play it safe, but kick it out. Feel that hamstring stretch. Three more. All right, we're almost there, two more, almost there. Now kick back, kick back, kick back. Maybe I'm holding on to my chair, yes? Maybe I'm holding on to a wall. I'm kicking back, open up that hip, open up that hip, open up that hip. Maybe reach forward only if you want to. Maybe you're tapping instead, yes? There's so many ways to do this. Um, but you're not pushing through the heel if you're tapping. Because I want that stretch, the elongation instead of the calf. All right, three more. Two more. One more. And side to side. Go side. Now this is the long. You're stretching. So the leg is straighter maybe soft knee but that's it open up that chest boom and in and boom and in and 
down and in and down and in. Come on, three more. Three, bring it in. Two, bring it in. One, no, I'm sorry, I was counting too fast. Two, now one. One, bring it in. And ankles, let's go. Boom, and boom, and boom. And boom, knees are underneath my hips, right? So those knees are underneath my hips. Maybe I'm high, maybe I'm holding on. It's totally up to you, but those knees, I'm getting a hip flexor stretch. Yes, for hip flexor stretches, they're the best because they're always tight on people. So don't let that knee come up. I don't wanna see that knee come up. I want it here. You're like, Lisa, you can't see me anyways, ha ha. That's just rude, you guys. Two more. <laughs> and one more. Okay, let's go. Draw the belly button in and in. Oh no, sorry, out. We're still out, not in. We're still out. So here you go, your choice. You're going out and out or here, out and out or here, holding on. Your choice or in the chair, seated off your tailbone. You've got so many choices. I'm going to go up and up so I get a good stretch. This one's my favorite because it stretches out my hip and my shoulder all at the same time. Yeah, and my core is really working hard. Three more. Let's go. So we did out and in. And last one. Okay, now draw the belly button in, contract those abs, bring it back to center and pivot. Bring it back to center and pivot. Okay, so this is one we're gonna add. If you want, you're gonna reach back to center. Reach. You don't have to, especially if that shoulder says no, then do it the first way we did it, yes? This is, um, expanding on what we were doing. You don't have to expand. It's just stretching the lats. If the lats don't like that stretch or if you feel off balance, you don't do it. Seated in the chair is good too. You're gonna go side to side if you wanna do that lat. Yeah, because of course you're not doing the pivot. So you're just doing the leg and then you can add that lat stretch in. Oh, so many choices. Everybody's like, uh, I don't know if I can do your class. Um, everybody can do my class. Yes, everybody. Uh, there is no getting out of it. <laughs> I won't let you. <laughs> Last one. Oh, nicely done. Okay, now we're going to do that internal rotation. Internal rotation. Internal rotation. So pop that heel out. Pop that heel out. That knee comes down. You're not twisting anything. You're internally rotating. If your body says no, don't rotate so much because that internal rotation is not easy. You're stretching your back. So if you're really tight in your back, maybe that hip will be like, yeah, no, I can't do that. But it's good for you because it does stretch it. So just go small. There you go. Come on. Bring it up. And down. And down. And down. Two more. One more. There you go. March it out for five and four. I don't know what time it is. Three and two. Oh, gosh. That took 24 minutes. What? All right. Bring it up. How did that take 24 minutes? Bring it up. Did we start late? I don't think we did. Am I in like a, a different time dimension than you guys are? How did that take 24 minutes? Last one. All right. Bring it down. Let's go down, 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 down. Down. Stick your booty out. Open up that chest. Open up that chest and then round your back, round, 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 round. You can hold on the chair for this one, yes. Roll up and roll your shoulders. Take a breath and then round your back and just 
um, straighten those legs and then reach down. Now you can do this in the chair, of course. For four, three, two, and one. Roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders. And let's go side to side. So bring it up and over. Blow it out. Bring it down. And then other side. Up and over. Your shoulders and your hips need to be on even on the same plane. All right. Bring it down. Bring it up. Reach up like you're doing a morning stretch. Give me two more. One more. Now just hinge at the hips, flat back, and let's just shake those hands. Shake those hands. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Open up. Bring it to your back. And feel that stretch opening up that chest. Okay. Good job. Let's go. Shake it out. All right, we are actually going to start in the chair, and we're going to go to a seated position, and we're going to work our glutes. So if you remember, the beginning of this, not this session, but the session before, ooh, this is too high, bam, um, we did something like this, and it was to get your glutes ready. So I want to kind of test you and see how good your glutes are now. So hopefully they are. You can do more. All right, you want your weights on your legs, unless you don't want weights on your legs. That's fine. If you have, like, um, like these kind of things, you can use these, like the ankle wrist. Well, these are, like, ankle weights. I don't think you can see it. Um, but they wrap around your um they wrap around your ankles and they Velcro. Got those at five below too. So again, you've got choices. So when you're doing this exercise, you can, um, if you have those, heck, you could tape a, a duct tape some rice to your ankles, a bag of rice, I don't know, whatever, whatever works for you. Um, but I like to just do it like this because not everybody has those. So you're at the edge of the chair, squeeze the glute, open up the chest, contract those abs, and you're just gonna march it out. But I'm pushing my butt into that chair. I am not slouching. I am not using my shoulders. My shoulders are not here trying to get that knee up. Ha, see the difference? That's what I'm talking about. That's why a lot of people have shoulder problems. When someone says, I have neck issues, I have shoulder issues, I stretch the neck and shoulders a lot we do a lot of stretches for that but i don't work on them i work on the glutes because 90 percent of the glutes and abs 90 percent of the time it's a uh it's a um core problem not anything else i know you wouldn't think of it but i'm telling you every time that's how i've seen it so that's you know my world not saying that it's everybody's world but that's how i see it with the clients that I have. So think about that. If you really um, have um, a Dower's hump, which is like kind of that hump in between your shoulder blades, like at the top of the bone, like where your cervical spine meets your, um, your back, thoracic spine. Um, you'll have a like little hump there, which is just built up of muscle and, that's not good because you're using that area. And it's hard to, it's one of the hardest things to stop. All right, this is the last one. All right, let's just do left leg, left leg up, left leg up. You cannot move, watch, watch what I'm doing. Keep going with that left leg. I'm gonna put both on actually, because I want more work on that. Um, try not to, um, you know, come forward and try not to do this. I don't want this. I want shoulders back and down. I want to tuck that tummy in, and I really want to squeeze through my glutes and my quad. So you're just bringing it up and down, bring it up and down. There we go. There we go. And that extra weight, like these are 10 pounds, 
um, not each, but so I've got, you know, an extra 10 pounds on that leg. That's going to be hard. I can feel it in my quad. I can feel it in my glutes, really more in the stance glute than this glute. And you can do this standing up too. It's your choice. Uh, three more, but I find that this really works the quads really nice. Two more and one more. Nicely done. Let's march it out. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs and march. And merge, and merge. So feel those abs pull in. Every time that knee comes up, oh, I can really feel it in that left. <laughs> um, every time that knee comes up, I'm not, I'm not coming back, right? I'm not coming forward. I'm literally glued in place, and I'm using my glutes. I'm using my abs. <sighs> Glabs. I was just thinking about glabs, glutes and abs. That's a cool name too. Glabs. Use your glabs. <laughs> okay. I'm copywriting that one. Glabs. Copyright 2021. Lisa Chavis. There you go. It's mine. <laughs> it's my word now. <laughs> uh, should I say trademark or copy? No. Copyright. No. Yeah. I don't know. I'll do both. Trademark. <laughs> I trademarked it too. <laughs> uh, give me two more. You're like, nobody wants that word, Lisa. You're fine. You don't even have to copyright it. <laughs> okay, let's switch just to this leg. Just to this leg. Draw the belly button in. Contract. Open, open. Boom. Pull it up. Pull it up. Maybe you put one, both on one leg for added um, stress to that leg. It's up to you. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. Squeeze your glutes. Contract those abs. You're isolating the muscles. The glutes, the abs, and the quad is what you want to use. You're not using your shoulders. You're not using your neck. I have no activation whatsoever right here. So I don't want you to either. Make sure it's all in your abs, your glutes, and your quad. Pull it up. So when you take a breath right here, then you blow it out here. Take a breath, blow it out. Yeah, that's the rhythm you want. Three more. Two more. I think I might have gypped you. Did I do 12? I don't think I did 12. Sorry. Last one. And bring it down. Let's march it out. But this time, you're going to march it out, out, in, and in. Yeah, there you go. Out, out, in, and in. There you go. You're at the edge of the chair, so don't go back. You're at the edge. Going out and out and in and in. If this is easy, you need more weights on your leg because this is not easy. I'm on fire right now. Draw the belly button and contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Open up the chest. Out, out, in, in, like you're stepping over a pile of cash. Pile of cash just sitting around your house. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Open, 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 and squeeze that butt. Feel, you should feel how your butt is moving to um, do the task, yes? All right, last one. Okay, if you want, double them up. It's your choice. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs up and over, up and over. Oh, yeah, it's not easy. You're using your inner thigh muscles too now, and you'll feel that groin kind of kick in. So muscles that are not normally used, so be careful. Do not use your neck. Do not use your shoulders on this one. Use those inner thighs. Use those inner thighs. Give me five more. Bring it up and over. Piles of cash, you guys. Four more. You can do the standing up too if you want. Three more. But you would need like something on your ankle for extra weight for sure. Two more. Or you don't have to use any extra weight really. Last one. Okay, nicely done. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Come on, up and over. Oh, check your posture. What's it doing, guys? Is it happy? 
Do you have a happy back? I hope. Open, 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 in, in, in. Open, open, in, in, in. There you go. Squeeze your butt a little bit more. Open up the chest, expand north, south, east, and west. Come on, step over that pile of money. My pile was a little small. <laughs> My pile is very small, but that's okay. I don't need piles of money. I have happiness. <laughs> Give me three more. I have a duct tape on my Prius that I drive around. I don't need piles of money. I don't need nice things. <laughs> One more. Okay. There you go. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Are we ready? Reset your posture. Double up if you want. Bring it up and over up and over so it's single leg and you're pushing on this heel to activate this glute yes don't push on the toes push on the heel that'll give you that activation in both glutes but definitely this glute oh i'm feeling this one i should have grabbed the smaller weights because my legs are going to be jello later open up that chest Woo! So a little goes a long way. I mean, these are just five pound weights. So if you're doing three pounds, that's six pounds on your leg. That's huge. Um, or you don't have to use anything, right? You don't have to use dumbbells at all. Two to feel this. And one. Oh, relax it out. I don't think I could do any more. Ooh. Okay, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes. You're going to straighten out that leg, and you're going to lift, and lift, and lift. So just single, single leg, opening up that chest, left leg, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, relax the neck and the shoulders. On this one, you're not going to be able to go too high. Yeah, you'll feel that though. You'll feel it in um, the quad, the glute, and the abs. Uh, the abs are, are really um, strong in this one. A little bit more than the other ones. Okay, no more, the le leg was more utilized last time. And notice how I'm only putting one dumbbell on this one, because it's hard. Two more, one more, and then we're gonna do a pulse on this one because we're not marching. So eight, seven, don't touch the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and another, and another, because I don't know why I started at eight. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, others, oops, extend the leg and bring it up. Bring it up. I'm supposed to do 10 and I started at eight. I was like, well, that was dumb. Squeeze those glutes. Open up the chest. Draw the belly button in. Blow out. Take a breath. Blow out. Relax that neck. Relax those shoulders. Sometimes you don't even realize it. Look at yourself. Oh, well, if you don't have your camera on. Shoulders back and down. Give me four more. Four, three, two, and pulse for 10. Are you ready? Try not to tap the floor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Bring those dumbbells down and give me a stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Take the um, right hand, bring it up. Open. Bring it down. Take the left hand. Bring it up, feel that stretch, bring it down. Okay, keep the dumbbells there. Draw the belly button in, take those hands, put them on the inside of your thigh, come to the edge of the chair, draw the belly button in, open up the chest, and then squeeze in while you pull out. You can also do this with like a ball in between your thighs, but we're just gonna use our legs. I mean our hands. Um, open up the chest. Push, push, push. Squeeze the glutes. Open up the chest. Draw the belly button in. Don't go on your tailbone. Five, four, three, two, 
one. I like it too because it works out your um, arms as well. Okay, let's do that again. Draw the belly button in, squeeze in, pull out. Go, 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 go. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Pull, 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 pull. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Draw the belly button in a little bit more. Relax the shoulders a little bit more. Relax the neck a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it out. Let's do it one more time. Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Squeeze those glutes. Open up the chest and push, 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 push. Pull out with your hands. Push in with your thighs. Come on. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Good job. All right. Now you're going to press here. Draw the belly button in. You're going to press on the outside of your legs. You can do this while you're watching TV. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze the glute. Contract the abs. Push. Push out with your legs. Push in with your hands. Go, 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 go. Feel that contraction in your abs. Relax the shoulders. That's the key is relaxing those shoulders. Push with your biceps. Yes. Not your shoulders. Push, 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 push. Five, four. Three, two, one. Relax it out. Take a breath. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Ready? Go. Push in and pull your legs out. Push, 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 push. Squeeze those glutes. Try and counteract each one with intensity. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it out. Take a breath and let's go third time. Shoulders back. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze the butt and resist. Push in. Pull out with those legs. Push in with those arms. Shoulders back. My shoulders are not doing it. It's those biceps. Little tricep too with this one. Just a little. Just a hint. I can feel a, a little hint of a tricep activation. Chest, for sure. I'm using my pecs. I'm using my butt muscles, my inner thigh, my outer thigh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax out, shake it out. Good job. Bring these dumbbells underneath your chair. And we're gonna use the chair. Okay, so draw on the belly button and contract those abs. I'm going to show you sideways on this one. Okay, so your hands are like on the side of the chair and your butt is at the edge. You're going to pick yourself up off the chair and then bring yourself down. So pick yourself up off the chair, bring yourself down. Now, that's one way of doing it. The other way is to slowly slide your butt off the chair and then bring it back on. So your feet have to be nice and firm out. So you're either going boom, boom, lifting off the chair just slightly. You're just slightly lifting that bum off the chair or you're lifting it forward and bringing it back. Forward and bringing it back. So this is what you got to be careful. That's why bringing your butt up off the chair might be the option for you. So um, again, I'm going to show you the, the extra way you do what feels good for you. Draw the belly button in, shoulders back and down, contract those abs, bend those elbows, relax the hands. You're going to come off and bring it in. So the core is tight. Draw the belly. You go as far as you want to go, right? Shoulders back and down, bring it in. Shoulders back and down. Do you feel all that is on those biceps, those triceps? You are getting shoulder work, but no neck work. No neck core, definitely, because you got to stabilize. Three more, or you're here. I'm going to show you that other way. Three, two, and one. Okay, so either way works. Relax those hands, yes? That's a lot of pressure on those hands. So let's just pull it in, actually pull it out. And then let's do the other hand. So you're just, see? Like I'm just pulling it back, yeah? Does that make sense? Okay, and then rotate. Another direction. Okay, let's do that again. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes, shoulders back in down. You're just gonna slide off, or you're gonna slide, or you're gonna pick up. 
just picking up, right? So what is this good for? Use your core, use your core, use your core. If you have to move in bed, this is the movement. And that is not easy. So this is why I like this exercise. So again, you're here, going forward, shoulders back and down, bend those elbows, relax the neck, relax the shoulders. You're using your core and your arm strength, yes? Definitely a little shoulder work though. Give me three more. Three, either you're sliding up or you're pulling up. Your choice, both ways, it's hard. It just depends on what you feel comfortable doing. And again, you can do this before you get out of bed. Hmm, try it. Try it, try it, try it. Last one. All right, relax it out. Let's bring those palms down or palms towards you and stretch it out. So the fingertips are down, yes? Uh, relax it. Try and straighten the arm as much as you can. And then other side. So now take the palm is towards you. Fingertips are down. And it's just a stretch for the forearm. You got one more set of these. Draw the belly button in. Oh, sorry. Rotate, 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 shake it. Let's go. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze the glutes. You got to really connect all these three and tie them in a knot. Yes. And then bring it up or out. There you go. Pull shoulders back and down. Contract those abs. It's not the neck. It's not the shoulders. Those are assisting. The shoulders are assisting. It's the abs, the glutes, bicep, and tricep. That's working hard. Packs, a little bit, a little activation in the packs. Two. And one, they're like assisting in a different way, if that makes sense. All right, relax it out. Good job. Shake it out. Good job. Okay, sit to stands. We're almost there. Oh, come on. Time is not my friend today. I feel like I'm in a, a different time frame as you guys. Draw the belly button and contract those abs. We're standing up. And we're going to bring it down to that chair and up. So why is this so important? Toes are forward, push through the heels, because if you start having knee problems, you got to have strong glutes, strong quads. You're barely touching that chair, yes? Um, if you have an injury, you have to have that muscle tone there in order to lose it while you're healing with that injury, if that makes sense. So strength training is super important. It's probably kind of boring. But it's important. And this class was a lot of strength training, a lot of stretch too, and flexibility and all that. But I kind of left you with more strength training than I did um, with our balance moves, just because I wanted you to mix this in with all your other stuff. I have so many balance moves that I did, so many flexibility moves. Um, this one's more strength training heavy, but that's how I wanted to leave you guys. So you don't have to watch this one very often, but I do want you to mix this one in. Two more. Push through it. One more. Push through it and bring it down. Woo, relax it out. Let's do a hamstring stretch. So. We're going to straighten out our leg, relax the foot, and you're going to hinge forward till you feel a stretch in the back of that leg. You don't want it so much in the back of the knee, so bend the knee if you feel it like just that connection point. Um, you want to feel it right through here. So relax that foot. If you feel it in the calf, relax that foot more. And then if you feel it behind the knee, bend the knee. Uh, maybe you have to go a little further. You can have a, um, you know, a natural back. You can have a natural back. Four, three. I don't want real round, but natural is fine. Two and one. Okay. Remember what leg you did. Now we're going to do those um, chair stands. Ready? Draw the belly button in. Contract those abs. Bring it down and up. 
Bring it down and up. Bring it down and up. Bring it down and up. There you go. Press through the heels, not the toes. If you guys are towing it now, oh my gosh, 50 lashings with a wet noodle, you guys. You should not be towing it. You should not be feeling it in your toes at all. If you've learned anything from this class, it's to not use your toes. Push through the heels, bring it up. Push it, and that's the fact that I can't count. Those are two takeaways. Two more. <laughs> and one more. Yeah, bring it up. There, let's stretch it out. So here, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. scratching on my floor. Okay, so um, extend the left leg. And then hinge forward, nice natural back. Relax the toes. I don't want it in the calf, I want it in the hamstring, yes? Um, so come off your tailbone, and then you might need to arch your back a little bit if you don't feel it. I don't want it super round, I want it kind of natural. So not flat, but natural, and I want it right here. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we got another sit to stand. Sit to stand, last one. Draw the belly button in, then we're gonna do a little um, pulse. Draw the belly button in, open up the chest, contract those abs, and then we're here. Down and up, boom, down, up, down, up. See, it's like that chair is on fire, and, um, whew, and you are want, not wanting to touch that chair or you'll burn your butt. Don't burn your butt. It's like those fire walkers, you know? They like -a 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 -a, right across super fast. They don't get burnt. Open up that chest, draw that belly button in. Give me four more, four, three. Squeeze your groin on the top, two, and one, all right, we're gonna pulse it out. So bring it down, just hover over that chair. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, so stand by that chair. I'll stand by you. That's just like popped into my head. I don't even know what song that is, but <laughs> that was in my head. Okay, so toes are forward. You're going to go heels up and bring them down. Heels up and bring them down. I'll show you sideways. Heels up, bring them down. Heels up, bring them down. So this is the stuff that I was talking about when you're on the steps. You could do this hanging on to a railing if you have steps. A lot of people don't have steps. So that could be problem. So that's why I said in the earlier session or the earlier part of the class, I said you could buy a step, but just make sure it's a good quality step that it's not going to be like it needs to be weighted. All right, give me three more. Three, bring it down. Two, bring it down. But if you're on a step, you can go lower. Whereas if you're on the floor, you can't go past the floor, you know. All right, relax it out. Now you're gonna take that right foot back and the left foot forward. I want you to lean on something so you don't put pressure on that left knee because a lot of times people like to put pressure on that knee and then that, it bothers them. So press through that right heel. You can be low or you can be high, it doesn't matter. You can even be at a wall, but I like a chair better because then there's just no stress on that knee. I'm putting all that my weight on the chair. Toes are forward. Straighten out that right leg for four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Now you're going to go to a single. And we've done this a million times. You're going to go to a single on the right, and you're going to strengthen it. Yes? So single leg, only if you want. You can do a double. You can do double legs. 
totally up to you, but I want that heel off the ground, back down, off the ground, back down. You're not resting that on the down, you're coming right back up. Just like our chair sit to stand, the same concept. That floor is fire. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go to double. Bring those heels up and down, up and down, up and down. So two legs now. Hopefully you can see that. I'm using both my legs. I'm bringing it up and down. I'm strengthening those calves. But the thing is, if those calves are really tight, you want to stretch them. You can strengthen all you want. But if you have super tight calves, they're going to start giving you problems other places. Usually it's not the calves that hurt. It's pulling in either your back or it'll go to your foot and your bottom of your foot will start bothering you. Last one. Okay, now take the left foot back. Left foot back, right knee is forward. You're bending that right knee and the left leg is straight. One of the most important stretches, like if you hate to stretch and you said to me, I'm only going to stretch one part of my body a day, I would say the calf stretches is probably up there with the top three because everybody generally has tight calves. Four, three, I'd say that in shoulders. Everybody has shoulder problems, I feel like. Two and one. Relax it out. They think it's back, but usually it comes from the shoulders. All right. So now you're going to take, I'm going to switch this around so you can see me. Now you're going to take that foot and you're going to come up and down. Up and down. Up and down. I feel I'm going to stress about that answer that I just said. I mean, I can't just pick one. It's like, it's like picking a child for me. <laughs> I got to have all of them. <laughs> so calf, hamstring, back, shoulders. It's all of them. Got to stretch. You can't just stretch one part a day. That's what I tell you. No, I can't choose my children. <laughs> it's all of them. Bring it up. Come on. That, that ground is fire. That ground is fire. Four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Relax it out. <laughs> We're going to go back to that chair. Oh, actually, I'm going to stay here. Back to that chair. We're going to cross. I know a lot of guys can't do this. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Um, and then rotate that ankle. So you can be here, you're just rotating that ankle. And honestly, I do this all the time. I used to have, oh, major ankle problems. Like I couldn't run. I used to be a runner and hmm, I just messed up my ankles. And um, rotate the other direction. This has helped tremendously. I do this constantly and now, like if I go to jog, you know, just like, oh, you're in the grocery store parking lot. It starts to rain. I can now just jog and I'm not like dying, you know, like I'm not, my ankles aren't giving out and everything like they used to. Okay, now point and flex, point and flex. So it's the ankle stretches for sure. I know 100%. Because even as a kid, it would do that. My ankles would just give out like, Phew. I just go to run and boom. They were like, no, you're not. You're going to kiss that asphalt. All right. Okay. Bring it down. Switch. You can be here. Whatever. Rotate. Come off that tailbone. Hmm. I don't know what time it is. I think it's almost time. 
this class, I swear, we were in a time warp. Time warp, baby. Wasn't it a movie or something? Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, that's what it was. There was a song about time warp. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Do you remember that? <laughs> it's like a weird 70s movie. Okay, now point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. There you go. Open up that chest. Relax those shoulders. <laughs> My cat is just staring at me like, I thought she'd make a, a her presence known because I told her it was the last class. All right, relax it out. I'm going to get closer. And then we're going to do, of course, our neck side to side. So this is so important to go side to side. Why? Well, of course, because it's your neck and everybody has neck issues pretty much. You know, you get that stiff neck. You can have, I know when I have sinus problems, I get a stiffer neck. When I was little, my neck would just freeze up and I wouldn't be able to turn it at all. I swear it was sinus related. And then I started doing my own little neck stretches. Little baby Lisa would do neck stretches. See, I even knew then. Nobody told me to. I just knew it felt better. All right, turn. Back to center. And turn. Back to center. Turn. Back to center. Turn. Okay, take that tennis ball, put it right here. Your like imaginary tennis ball, side to side. Woo. And popping and cracking. Side to side. To me, these are lifesavers. They're game changers. These stretches right here, this next stretch for sure. All right, last one. Bring it back to center. Okay, ear to shoulder. Bring this ear up towards that ceiling. Maybe grab your chair and pull. It's up to you. That's why it gets my sinuses like every time. Just drains. All right, back to center. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know, but that's what it does for me. Ear to shoulder. Bring this ear up towards the ceiling. And if you want, you can do it this way. Or you're just here. You know, it's your choice. I like that pull. Looks like it's going to rain, guys, but my flowers need it, so... They'll be happy. Bring it back to center and rotate. I was going to go to a petting farm today, but I don't think that's going to happen. I wanted to go hug some goats. I was like, this is a goat hugging day. It's not. My goats are going to be sad. Last one. <laughs> Bring it up. Bring it down. Press through, bring it all the way down until you feel stretched, maybe in the hands. Down, down, down. Take a breath. Oh, the kitty is here. Bring it up and around and bring it back. Open up that chest. Blow it out. Bring those hands forward and round the spine. And bring it down, roll those shoulders, and go to single. Single roll, single roll. Oh, we are way over. Single roll, single roll. Good job. Good job. Shake out those hands. Shake out those hands. Oh, we're only four minutes. My clock is so off. Four minutes isn't bad. Fingers to thumb. Oh, I'm going to cry. I'm so upset. Gonna miss you guys. But hopefully I'll see you on Monday. Hopefully. Or I'll see you at the grocery store. <laughs> it's usually where I see people. <laughs> at Kroger's. <laughs> on Rochester. On uh, Livernoy. <laughs> and wiggle, 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 wiggle.
my god shake it out or opc if you come in i teach so i teach a tuesday class um the monday class that i teach online i teach that in so if you ever want to do in person it's a fun class too we got some wild people in that class <laughs> um i got one girl who's like using only one arm because she just had surgery she's amazing so you know i've got all anybody can do that class i'm like if i can have a person with one arm healing from a surgery i feel like anyone can do that class <laughs> Um, oh, we had 11 people. I have three chats. What's my chat? Ah, oh, Meg. I will miss your virtual class. Have really enjoyed being able to do from home. So convenient and checking in with you encouraged me to log on. Yay. Wednesdays won't be the same without you and your class. Oh my God, Barb. Meg, I agree with you. Lisa's class always made it to me. Log on and exercise more. Thank you so much, Barb. I'll miss you. No, I don't think I've ever seen Barb in person. <laughs> She's just a black box. <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to. So if you come to OPC and you see me and you're just a black box, um, let me know that you are you. Because every I'll once in a while, I'm, black box. I'm just the black box. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that should be your, your costume for like the OPC, like Halloween or whatever. Just a black box with the name would be the best. I'm going to do, do it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, yay. Thank you guys. Thank you, Patties, my Patties, the Patty team. Abraham, Team Patties. <laughs> Abraham, Do you think they'll ever bring this back? Or, um, I don't know. You know, um, that is a good question for Marianne. I know schedule is crazy. So um, and now that we're adding more stuff at OPC as well, but we'll always have the Monday. Like, but we'll I, always have the Monday. Yeah. So, I know, uh, yeah, I think we're getting feedback on somebody. Um, yes, so, um, hopefully I'll be able to see you, and then um, look at my WooHoo Senior channel on YouTube, because I'll post different stuff there. Yeah, I'm getting feedback. I think it's, Patty, I think it's yours. Does everybody hear that? Or is it just me? Yeah, there we go. Awesome, Patty. Yeah, it was uh, Patty's. The direction was weird. Sometimes the direction gives feedback. I don't know why. Certain computers, it's weird. Um, but um, yeah, so Mondays and then Woohoo Senior, W O O H O O Senior, S E N I O R, Woohoo Senior. On YouTube, Lisa Chavis, you'll find my thing. I'll post on that. Um, I'm going to be posting more. And then, of course, our old OPC stuff. And hey, email me. Stop by and see me. Will you email um, us that information? Yes, I will do that on Thursday. I work Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I'll email everybody. And I'll give you my cell number because I text people really well and I love memes and funny things. People send me stuff all the time and I'm like, ah, that made my day. <laughs> so, um, yes, and you can email me and I will respond, but I only work Tuesdays and Thursdays and um, actually I'm going to only Tuesdays and Thursday nights. So um, I'll be only there for like one day now. Um, but we just hired a full-time person, Mandy. So that's uh, why. So they, yeah. Um, but, so I will be there every Tuesday. Coming in May, I'll be there every Tuesday. Um, so if you email me and I don't email you back until a week, it's that's why, because I'm not in the So the when office. you do your personal training, is it online or do you meet in person? Um, I have both kinds of clients. I do mainly right now, I would say, 75% is still online. Now, now everybody's getting their shots and I have my shots. So um, I think people are starting to get more comfortable. Um, so I did have a couple clients say that 
they were past their two weeks and that they wanted to switch. But um, so it might be 50-50 now. But um, and then, you know, you have that video, which is kind of nice. But OPC has phenomenal personal training. They just don't have the virtual. So, yeah, but um, they do personal training in house. But I do the virtual. I think it's it works really well in my opinion. And then you have that video. So that's kind of nice too. Yeah, I agree. Um, I love yeah. it. Well, it's just, it's so convenient to get up and I'll do it every day you have it. I'll be there. But uh, Yay. It's, it's been awesome, Lisa. Thank you. I feel like that. Yeah. That, you know, I, I love it. I love it. So maybe we'll bring it back in the fall or who knows what's on the agenda, but um, yes, hopefully. Hopefully, I liked it. I like virtual stuff though. You don't, you don't have to go out of your house. I like that. I agree completely. <laughs> yes. And then it's kind of nice, you know, even though people are, are little black squares, you still kind of have this connection. Like not everybody has to talk, not everybody has to, you just kind of like listen to other people and it's you still feel like that connection, which I think is nice and I know like with you guys, like I went into Marianne's office yesterday and Abraham and Dennis and Tara were like on the screen and I think there was another class starting and I was like, oh, I was so excited. I was like, and like I saw them at work. So I was like, oh, but they weren't really at work. They were just on a screen. But you get that like that little, you know, like you're actually seeing people and, and talking and it fills that void, I think. You know, don't you think, Abraham? Yeah, Abraham's like, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it just fills a void that we all have, you know, definitely. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to miss I got you. my flowers out. I'm going to miss you guys, but hopefully I see you on Monday. So, you know, again, I call out chair exercises the whole time. So, and literally you can do other things while you're, you know, if you don't do the whole thing, you can do other things. You guys know enough to wear, you know, a lot of that. And I'm, you know, I'll probably sprinkle in some balance training, but this class really was just kind of a different version of that class. So I feel like they kind of went together very well. Um, so yeah, and keep strong. Make sure you keep working. Thank yes. you, Jason. Okay. Thank, you. Bye, Lisa. I, thank you. Thank you guys. You guys have a great day. You Enjoy too. the weather. All right. Take care. I look forward to seeing your guys' emails. So it's, oh, it's Al Chavis at OPC Senior Center org. So my last name is just like Davis with a C H. So L C H A V I S Chavis um, at OPC Senior, what is it? OPC Senior Center.org. Yeah. So, okay. I look forward to, and I'll, I'll email you guys out because I have the class list. So I will do that. Thank you. No problem. Her name's in there. There's old oh, She returned it?
Yeah, she picked up a new one and returned this one. Did she not return it? This, this is the new one. Oh, I, you know what? I'm so sorry. I set the That's wrong okay. one up. Oh, she was, I was like, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Okay, here you go. Thank you. So, did you finish the movie yesterday or Monday? Was it weird? The um. You know what? All but one person said it was really, really good. Really? Yeah. Okay. Joni um Herman uh she Keller, she yeah. Keller Herman she was like like that, but everyone else said you know it was different, really different, but it was really well made. Okay. So okay. they enjoyed it. I feel like I watched the beginning and the end, and I was like, "What the heck?" Yeah. So yeah. I honestly want to watch the middle because it was kind of interesting. Did you know. You know what? And you gotta give it credit. There's so many movies out there. They're so, you know, formula driven or you know just right. Crap. So it's, yep, yep. It yeah. sure had imagination. 